what is up youtube knife community back again today i've got an exciting video and this video is about this knife right here i'm sure you guys seen my unboxing or some of you saw it about this knife and this is the uh pearson custom knives little chief in nitro v right here's the uh the card that comes with it your uh, authenticity card Nitro V Little Chief carbon fiber scales G10 liners built by Ryan Pearson. Excellent guy to deal with. Uh, here's his contact info right here and his dad's contact info up top. Um, Rodney helps promote Ryan Knives, Ryan's Knives, and he also helps build a few. So uh, both of them are excellent people. Uh, great members of the community absolutely have really enjoyed getting to know these guys uh, right there is how you contact either one of them you got uh, Ryan's email there's his Facebook and his Instagram and Rodney's Instagram so hit these guys up follow them uh, Ryan is doing some killer work on these knives guys as you can see since the last video I put a lot of use on this you can see how the uh, the acid etch has changed colors a little bit right there and that's because of the edge retention testing i've done uh this steel right here has completely surprised me uh when i first got it i used the factory edge just a little bit uh just breaking down a few boxes cutting and stuff this knife cuts great it feels good in the hand uh you can come way out here with your thumb it's a small fixed blade uh, it's exactly what I wanted. It's a just an EDC size fixed blade. Here it is against a pair of three right here. Uh, just perfect little size for an EDC fixed blade. And here you go against the Manix. So you can see there it's uh, quite a bit smaller than a Manix and a little bit smaller than a pair of three. So you're looking at uh, a two and five eighths inch blade and it's about six and a quarter overall <laughs> feels great in the hand you know my my palm measures three and three quarter from uh right here to the back side of my palm and it fits my hand i mean just absolutely perfect i love it i mean it's exactly what i was looking for in an edc fixed blade and as you can see the work that he does is phenomenal you can see my fingerprints on it but uh i mean it he just does an excellent job the sanding that he did on the scales is perfect it fits good it feels good and it performs good um as i said i sharpened it probably about i hadn't said this yet but i sharpened it about two or three times before uh before i started testing it like i said i was just cutting cardboard with it for a little while and uh just seeing how the steel held up and it held up excellent excellent and it strops back great and uh he ground this thing super thin let's see if i can get a good shot it's ground thin it is a hollow grind i don't know how well it'll come through let's see if i got a straight edge here let's see sorry here's a straight edge right here i'm trying to give you a shot of how deep this hollow grind is yeah there it is see how deep that hollow grind is I mean, it's freaking phenomenal phenomenal it's exactly what i wanted i'm looking to see if i've got my calipers over here i don't think i do no i don't i'm sorry guys i don't have my calipers we will get a weight on it real quick just so uh you got an idea of how much it weighs knife alone is 2.5 ounces with the sheath 3.5 ounces so it's, I mean, it's about perfect for EDC fixed blade. As I said, I carried an appendix on my right hip uh, in, her, in the front, so it's easy access, you know. Uh, it's just perfect for me. These two drop loops work good. Uh, have no complaints about the sheath, and definitely no complaints about the knife. Now that we're four minutes in, I'll uh, tear into the test results. Uh, like i said man this thing strops up great it, it uh everything was great in test and uh so the third edge is when i started recording results 
Um, and I got 116 feet fine edge and 241 feet working edge. Uh, so I went ahead and sharpened it again. And uh, this is the fourth edge here. I got 132 feet fine. And <laughs> believe it or not, 132 foot working edge. So the total was 264 on the fourth edge. And on the fifth edge, I got 135 feet fine and 263 feet working edge. So uh, that's definitely backed itself up. Uh, that's within a foot of each other on the fourth and fifth edge. So I'm happy with those results. I'm sure if I ran it 15 more times, I'd get right at 260 feet working edge, which is incredible. Uh, Gerald from Outpost 76 tested two Nitro V knives not long ago. One of them was a uh, Perpetua from Mass Drop. Uh, with a with a uh, production kind of heat treat on it and this knife done quite a bit better than it and then he did a uh, custom fixed blade from BGM knives and this knife is very close to it uh, this this Pearson did just a little bit better than it if I had to guess uh, I would say this thing is right around 60 and a half to 61 HRC which is a good range for Nitro V uh, Whatever Ryan is doing on the heat treat of this, he needs to keep doing it because freaking phenomenal. I mean, just the way the shit, excuse me, uh, the way the steel comes up when you sharpen it is just absolutely sick. Uh, this right here is just from stropping it. You see how it just peels hair off. I mean, that's just from stropping, guys. I haven't put this thing back on the stones yet after cutting 300 foot or 263 feet of cardboard. Let me see if I can find a piece of paper. Hang on, hang out with me. Okay, so I don't have any uh, computer paper out here with me, but I do have some notebook paper. I'll show you how smooth this thing slices. I mean, it's just so stupid smooth. And that's, at, like I said, that's after the cut test and just drop back. I, I caught the chill right there. Oh, shit. It's hard to do this. There we go. Yep, sharp, sharp, sharp. Okay, so there it is. And uh, this purposeful, meaningful jimping that he does is just phenomenal. Uh, you know, most jimping, the way you like, say a mannix is it catches traction on the way forward like when you're putting your thumb against it like pushing that way that's when it catches you i don't know if this is something that he plans or whatever but with this jumping when you push forward your, your finger kind of skates over it uh and then when you come back on it it grips you which is actually genius to me because I don't know why you want to push your finger down the blade like that. I always want to try to get my fingers back away from the blade. So when you uh, when you stick your thumb down on it, you pull back toward yourself, it locks in. And that, I mean, that just makes so much more sense to me. I don't know why, but it does. And the, I mean, it's absolutely perfect the way the way it uh, grabs your hand. And uh, I guess I said the the dimensions is uh, two and five eighths inch cutting edge and six and quarter overall. And you're almost dead nut on one inch width at its widest point as far as the knife goes. And then your sheath, you can't count the belt loops, but you got about an inch and three quarter profile on your sheath from here to here. So, uh, man, you can't even tell you got it on your hip when you're carrying it. And uh, the, the retention in and out of the sheath is, is just phenomenal. It don't have that uh kydex click you know that oh i about cut my finger but uh it don't have like a standard i guess it does there's your click but i can't say enough good things about it so i'm gonna shut up and quit rambling uh 263 feet 264 feet working edge for uh this steel i think is great uh so again ryan if you're watching this brother whatever you're doing on your heat treat on nitro v Two thumbs up from this guy. 
keep on doing it uh guys you need to uh if you ever thought about getting a uh edc fixed blade you better jump on board while you can because i'm telling you he's gonna take over i mean not take over but he's gonna start building uh knives for everybody and they're gonna be hard to get pretty soon i promise uh the more people that hear about ryan the more people that get his knives in hand and test them and use them are gonna see what i saw with this one and that's nothing but great craftsmanship good heat treat good geometry everything man i mean it checks all the boxes for me every box i wanted him to check when he built this knife has been checked excellent guy excellent build quality can't say enough good things so anyways guys that's all i've got hit him up get you a knife if you want a good edc fix buddy and he also makes skinners and bowies and whatever you want um he actually said that he would make your design if you designed it send him a picture he'd make it the way you want it and if you look at his instagram page dylan mallory had him make one of his his designs as a fixed blade too so uh he can do whatever you want just hit him up and get you a knife uh here's his sticker again i showed you his uh contact info hit him up that's all i've got because i could sit and ramble about this knife for two hours but i'm not going to guys thanks for watching uh let me know what you think down there in the uh, comment section about this knife uh and i'll see you guys on the next one thanks